uh, service officer, the department VA entitlements chairman, which is otherwise known as the benefits chairman, and the project rep chairman. I'm also the national VNR committee member for the state of Florida. So in fact, um, here about three more weeks, I'm going to Washington DC, talk to Congressman Senators about our benefits. So if you have an issue, please let me know so I can bring it to their attention up there in Washington. Okay, please. If I don't know it, I can't help you. Okay, I wanna make sure if you want my card, I'll give you my card as we leave. The class I'm given is tricks the trade, okay? The VA likes doing what they, they do. I'm gonna show you the ins and outs to beat them, okay? For example, order your military medic records. Anybody says, well, won't they do that? May, may not, okay? So what you're doing, you're getting ahead of the game before them. That way they say, well, we can't find evidence. I got it right here, okay? The only ones that take care of you is you yourself, okay? If you have a wife, take your records, lay them all out, work together. The more eyes and ears working on your cl disability claim before it goes up, the better your chances are. I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? I have my wife and my daughter helping me. I'm gonna show you exactly how we did it. Uh, I've won five of my own claims and helped many, many, many people do the same thing. I can't promise nothing, but everybody that has followed these steps have gotten something, okay? So please, please. Follow the steps, you can go online, you can download it on the class, the information I'm giving you guys there. I'm gonna start off with this. This is the state benefit guide, okay? Some of you have the 2020, some have the 2022. 99% of the information is exactly the same from 20 to 22. The difference is the, the individuals that are transitioning from male to female, okay? Which, we don't really care about that, okay? So 99% of the information is the same, okay? Please. That's correct. Guys, do me a favor. When you go home, take the stuff that's in your bathroom, take it out, put the stuff in there for a while. Okay, <laughs> study this for a while instead of the other magazines, okay? This right here, we're all gonna go upstairs, downstairs eventually. It's gonna happen, okay? This right here is to make sure your family is ready to go if something happens to you. I have people all the time say, well, we are, I got all my arrangements done. He may have the arrangements done, but do you have the planning for your family? The benefits side of the house, <coughs> meaning the presidential certificate, the flag, uh, reimbursement for costs, burial expenses, all that stuff like that is in here. Okay, the checklist. Please take this home, go through the checklist. For example, make sure you got your vehicle from 214, put it in here. Will, home attorneys, all that stuff like that, you put it in this booklet, you put it away, something happens to you, wife pulls it out, she's got a checklist and who to contact with everything. Okay, so please, if you need more of these, I got a few more, okay? Um, you can always invite me to your post, I got thousands of these. When you go to convention or fall conference, grab them. They're gonna be in the, in the uh, lobby where all the pamphlets and booklets are at, okay? So grab more of these for your post. Please, grab them. We're all gonna go upstairs, downstairs eventually, make sure your family is ready to go. This right here, okay? Please, on the back side is a phone number and an email address. We're all doing Legion business here today, right? Okay? So, this is accidental life insurance, it's free. Free, Legion Auxiliary Sons. What are riders? Auxiliary, auxil Legion Auxiliary Sons, right? Enroll, it's free. If you're doing Legion business, your family can get $5,000. If you're not doing Legion business, $1,000. That's enough to get extra crispy, okay? So please, take this, call, get on it, put it in this little booklet. Something happens to you, family pulls it out, bam, ready to go, okay? I myself, I got this in my house, my brother's got a copy of everything, and my mom's got a copy of everything. That way if something happens in my house or whatever, we have copies other places. So think about that, think outside the box, okay? Think about your family, okay? Is there anybody in here that does not know what Project Vet Relief is? If you don't, please raise your hand. There's gotta be somebody in here that don't know where it is. Either one, huh? Sort, okay? No, 
Project Vet Relief is the financial assistance and referral for veterans in the state of Florida. It's a program in the state of Florida, only in the state of Florida, that where we, us, the family, have created Project Vet Relief to take care of our own in the state of Florida. Okay, everybody asks, where's the money going? Okay, I'm gonna tell you where the money's going. We have 12 strategic partners that we have teamed up with to help with PTSD, suicide awareness, and so on. Okay, we help pay for them to continue doing what they're doing. We also pay for the veterans of like the hurricane. A lot of people lost their jobs. We pay a bill for them and get them back on their feet. They don't have to pay it back. Okay, COVID, a lot of people lost their jobs. Same thing, we paid a bill for them. We got them back on their feet. We have a list of organizations that provide uh, where they get jobs. Okay, I'm gonna cover that in my class. And go to college, enroll in the VA. What are we gonna do to get them back on their feet? It's all in this program right here, okay? So, and then this little card right here. The new number for suicides is double. We're talking 40, 40, 40 to 44 a day. Okay, since COVID, of course the VA is saying it went down. It didn't go down when you weren't providing the services. Okay, and then you had the hurricane, the economy. All right, so we're here 40 to 44 a day. Okay, so this card right here has the suicide hotline number, which is 988. Okay, new, su new suicide hotline number is 988. Okay, and also on the back of the card it has the signs and symptoms. Please put these in your wallet, please. If you run into one of your comrades that need help, make the call, call me. I'm sure you call her too if you have to, and then she calls me, yeah. okay? So please, you guys are 70 mile per hour billboard for the American Legion. You guys see a lot more than people sitting behind the bar, a lot more. If you see a comrade and he needs help, pull over and help him. That's what we do. We are the leaders of the American Legion. You guys are, okay? Yeah, we have the commander, auxiliary, and you know, all of them, but guess what? We're the boots on the ground. We're the troops. We're out there helping people. So please, okay? And there's a test, guys against girls. She's gonna be representing <laughs> the girls. She's gonna be representing the guys. Usually it's a couple. I don't really have any couples in here, okay? So I follow along. Okay, you the only one to get the answer, and you're the only one to get the answer. You guys can't help me. Okay, it's super easy. Trust me. Why did you have the marine do it? <laughs> you want to do it? No, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm gonna do first, guys, I'm gonna show you a video of the struggles that the veterans on the streets are going through. Okay, and that's the stuff that I deal with every day. That's why I'm asking your help. You guys are out there. You guys see what's going on. The information I'm going to give you guys, you can help that veteran with that information. I promise you. Okay? You guys all hear it?
Look at the tattoo. The battle buddies. That's what I deal with every day. About four, five, six calls a day I get. Homelessness, suicides, PTSD, uh, you name it, claims, everything. I get calls every day. Luckily, I got a rock solid service officer with me now that is helping tremendous, tremendous. We have over 100 points of contacts to help with that. Legit points of contacts have been certified and watched and looked over it and I've actually gone through with a lot of programs to make sure that they are what they are. Jim's gone through a couple of stuff too. So please, if you have a veteran that needs help, call me or Jim Wyland. We will get them help. Please. How many people in here with the combat? Raise your hand. I'm with you. I'm with you. I did it three times. I'm with you guys, okay? So remember that. You're my brothers. All of you are my brothers. If you ever need somebody to talk to, give me a call. I don't care what time. Now I'm going to go through the class, okay? I'm sorry about that video, but I want to show you guys what we deal with every day, okay? And what we're trying to help. I just did a Veterans Expo uh, about a month ago. We had 52 vendors there that did nothing but help veterans. We had the National Veterans Resource. They have a 42-foot RV. They provide free counseling and therapy on the back of the RV. They had a list of 20 or 36 names of veterans that committed suicide. They work one-on-one -on -one with the mothers and the wives. Um, in fact, one of my own mothers and my post, Zoe remember, two weeks before the expo, her son committed suicide. She came to the expo, I told my service officer to get her in the RV. She went in the RV and inside the RV was another mother that lost her son a year ago in Bradenton. So now those two mothers are battle buddies. And in May, both those mothers and my service officer are going to a retreat for the mothers that have lost their sons and, sons and daughters to suicide. Full expense paid. That's what Project Pet Relief helps. So a whole week that month, those two mothers are going. Those are our, our sisters that we're taking care of. So now you guys know. Okay, Veterans Affairs Rehabilitation, I'm gonna be covering VA, state, and local. Okay, benefits, all three. So, Soldiers Creed, how many people are in here in the Army? Raise your hand. Okay, so you should know about the Soldiers Creed a little bit, right? I'm gonna tell you about the Soldiers Creed. There's three lines in there, okay? There's three lines that I tell everybody to uh, watch for. I will never accept defeat. So if the VA denies you, do not give up. Do not accept defeat. Do not quit. Call me, I'll help you. I'll help you collect more evidence. Okay, I'll tell you what you gotta do and how to do it. I will never quit. Don't quit. Please, not to the fat lady sings. Oh, great, okay. 
And the big one I like, I will never leave a fallen comrade. That's us. We're never going to leave a fallen comrade. You call me 24 hours a day. If you need somebody to talk to, I'm not going to leave you behind. I'm not going to do it. I made that oath 30 years ago. I'm never going to leave my comrades behind. Even the Marines. They're my brothers. Yeah, I might mess with them and tell them, hey, don't eat the crayons, but they know they're my brothers. That's the way I look at it. Okay? I know they have my back. Okay? So please, please, you guys are my brothers. I look at the World War II and Korean War veterans as my grandfathers. Vietnam is my brother, my fathers. Then she'll do the storm. My brothers, Iraq and Afghanistan, as my kids. That's the way I'm going to look at it. It's my responsibility to take care of them. All right? Remember that Soldier's Creed. Follow the Soldier's Creed and you'll be okay. Veterans helping veterans. If you were at active duty, the reserve, or National Guard, and visited Dr. Hospital Health Clinic or any other medical facility for any reason, this could mean thousands of dollars to you and your beneficiaries. How many people in here have your medical, military medical records? Raise your hand. If you don't, please order them. Uh, how long does that take now? Because I ordered mine a year and a half ago. Okay, because, well, I'm going to explain that, okay? The Archive Center. During the COVID, went from 500 employees down to 50. During the COVID, this Nash, back in September, I went to the National uh, Meet Conference. That was one of the things we raised hell about. Wait a minute, er, come out. Because at that time, they were only giving information for the people for death benefits. They weren't doing anything else. They are getting more people in there. Do not quit. Okay, do not quit. I can't, I can't give you an answer. How long? So the Supreme Court kind of digitalizing. They're getting caught up. They are slowly getting caught up. <laughs> well, they're there. They're there. You just gotta get them, okay? Now, remember, a lot of people. Well, I hear this. Oh, what the fire they had at the archive center, okay? Okay. There wasn't as many burnt as people think. Okay. Remember, the only one that's gonna take care of you is you yourself. So, the first time you apply, ask for records, and they say they're destroyed. Do it again. I might be just that one person that's coming up with an excuse where they don't have to do the work. Try it again. Okay? And there's also ways around that. For example, buddy letters. I'm going to go over that class. Do never give up on a claim because you don't have the medical records. It's easier. Don't give up. Okay? Please do not give up. <coughs> All right? Where do you apply for that? For your uh, records? I'm going to go over that. Okay, I'm going to tell you the steps. Like I said, do not go online to your own claim. You're lucky. You're lucky, okay? Please do not do it. Go to your post service officer. They help you get started. They help you collect the paperwork. Just like I'm doing right here, I'm going to tell you how to get the paperwork, uh, <coughs> medical records, doctor opinions, buddy letters, and stuff like that, okay? <coughs> and once you gather all that, go see your county service officer. This is the phone numbers that every single county service officer in the state of Florida, okay? So please, post service officer, county service officer, they make sure all the dots are dotted, T's are crossed, make sure that you got everything again before it goes up. So kind of think of it like this. Think of your post service officer as your paralegal. Even though you're not paying, it's free. Your paralegal. Paralegal's job is to make sure you have all your documentation that you need. All right? So you make sure the dots are dotted, T's are crossed, and like that. Take it to the county service officer. They review it again to make sure you got everything. They actually do the claim itself, forward it to the FDBA. The FDBA, think of them as the attorney, even though they're not, because it's free. But think of it that, those steps, okay? The more eyes that look at your paperwork before it goes up, the better your chances are. That way we can find something that's missed before it goes up there, okay? And you can get this copy of this class from what website? FloridaLegion.org. Okay, you can get this cop, this class. Why there's a need to help veterans? Multiple extended deployments? I deployed three times. Okay? You don't come back the same. You don't. And each time it's harder and harder and harder coming back. 25% of the homeless are combat vets. You might hear that again. Okay? Suicide rate for active duty and veterans is four times greater than civilians, 200, 
plus veterans become disabled every day. Over 2 million veterans live without insurance. A steady release in 2022 found as many as 44 veterans die on average per day from suicide. You guys want to see it? I'll show it to you. Okay? I'll show it to you. I just showed her. Which is 2.4 times greater than the official estimate. The official estimate is from the VA. VA only counts the ones enrolled in the VA, which is ending 10% of the veterans. They're forgetting about the ones that aren't enrolled in the VA. We're not. There are, those are our brothers and sisters. If they can come up with those numbers all they want, we know the true numbers. Okay? Basic eligibility. Any person who served in active duty military or who was discharged or released under conditions other than dis dishonorable may qualify for VA health care benefits. That might be in the test. Okay? So, if you get a dishonorable discharge, I know some of you might know somebody that did that, they can apply for an upgrade. They can apply. Doesn't mean it's going to happen, but at least they got a chance to try to get it fixed. Okay? Especially if they got kicked out for uh, alcohol or drugs, if they prove that they have PTSD, they get returned turned around. Okay? So please tell them to try to apply to get it upgraded. See the county service officer for that. Can't hurt to try. Right? Enrollment. For most veterans, ent entries into the VA healthcare system begins with applying for enrollment. To apply a complete VA form 10, 10 easy application for health care benefits, which may be obtained for any VA health care facility. Please do not do it online. Go in person. Go in person. Do everything in person. Please, that way you get eye contact, you get copies saying you applied, and this and that. Okay? Please. You might hit you might see that again. Important documents. What is the most important document? DD form two fourteen. That might be on the test. Okay. What other documents is important? Birth certificate. Birth certificates for your kids. Marriage license. Okay. Those things, please. If you go to apply for VA health care or benefits, make sure you have those things. Because you can get additional allowances for dependents. Okay, please. Okay, that's the website you go to or your med medical records. <laughs> All right, DD form 214 and uh, medical records. All right there. Click on it. Bam! It tells you step by step how to do it. So if you word of advice, look on the internet. Get that? You got a veteran that comes to your post? I need to order my DD from 214. You can help them. Easy. Super easy. This takes time. <laughs> um, yes? I know folks that have gone on there and, and request just requested their DD 214. And it's taken over a year to get it. And other folks put that it's an emergency mm -hmm. and it's taken a month or two to get it. Right, because the, like I said, the COVID, when they went 500 employees on the right. <laughs> okay? Right. But, but they're getting more employees back in there, mm -hmm. okay? So things are speeding up, okay? So please be patient. That's one of the things that we are, in fact, I'm like I said, I'm going to Congress at the end of the month. That's one thing we're gonna raise hell about, saying, hey, we need this moving faster, okay? Anybody know what a DD form 215 is? Correction to your DD 214. There you go. Corrections. Were you a service officer? Uh, no. Okay. All right. So before DD form 214 didn't start to the middle halfway through Korean War. So World War II veterans and half of Korean War didn't have DD form 214s. They had a, a discharge paper. But it wasn't called DD-214. So if you have a World War II veteran or early Korean War veteran, they may not have a DD-214 to join the club. They'll have a discharge. Okay? Tip number one. There's four tips to beating the VA. You've got to complete three out of the four tips and have a claim. Okay? Three out of four tips. This is tip number one. 
have a well-grounded claim with evidence of the medical conditions that either started while you were in the military or pre-existing condition that aggravated by the stint in the military. Keep all records and folder by oldest to newest. Highlight the tab any conditions mentioned in the claim. So what you do is you order your military medical records. So they're that thick. This is where your wife and kids come and play at if you got teenagers. Take your military medical records, clear out everything in the living room, lay all your records out, anything that pertains to disability claim, you pull out. Don't send all your military medical records that don't belong to that claim. Pull out the ones that pertain to it. For example, let's say you had a heart attack, you had high blood pressure in the military, you want those records that pertain to that. Highlight it, tab it, make copies, copies. Please do not give them the only copy. They love to lose stuff. Okay, so when the VA says, well, we can't find this, no problem, I got a copy right here for you. Okay? So please, I did it, I know you can do it. The only ones that take care of you is you yourself. Think outside the box. Think, what do I have to do to beat them? You as your wife, say, hey, think outside the box. What do we gotta do to convince them? We wanna make this so easy that a caveman can say, yep, you gotta claim, highlight, tab. What do you gotta do to convince them that this is related, okay? How many people in here are okay on a computer? Raise your hand. I'm just okay. Okay, how many people in here have kids the ages 20 to 40? Raise your hand. How many people have grandkids from the ages 6 to 17? Raise your hand. Use them. They can find anything on the internet. They can find anything that you need to help you. Trust me, I got a 10 year old grandson. Logan, I can't figure this out. How the heck did he do that? Okay, he does it so fast, I can't figure it out. But use them, please. Okay? Take advantage of the kids. <laughs> use them. All right, now what this is, I don't like to recommend this one too much unless you have a doctor or nurse in the family that can help you. 38 CFR book C schedule for rating disability, that is the VA's rating scale for disabilities. So if you want to know where kind of like where you're standing for your disability, you can look it up right there. It'll tell you exactly the medical conditions you gotta have for 10% all the way up to 100 percent I'm gonna give you an example. I got a different but a pacemaker. I can do that. Look up cardiovascular, the foot but a pacemaker, 100 percent It tells me what I have, evidence I gotta have, doctor's opinions, or medical conditions, and stuff like that. So I take that, match it up with the medical records, match it up with the doctor's opinion. Man, got to claim it. But if you don't, not a doctor or a nurse, you don't know medical terms, don't even, don't even, because you're going to go the wrong direction on an accident, okay? So, my recommendation, tip one, three, and four. If you can do this one, great. All right? But don't let the VA know you use this. Okay? Use it to your advantage. It's open. It's their rating scale. Tip number three. I call this the icing on the cake. Think of your disability claim as a cake. You're building the cake. The evidence. This is the icing. Without icing, you ain't got a good cake. You just don't. Get a letter from your doctor stating that your present condition is more likely not directly related to the issue you had in the military. That's why your military medical records is very, very important. You can take those records to your doctor and say, hey, I had high blood pressure in the military, I just had a heart attack, I don't really, it's called a nexus, it's that connection. If he says yes, have him write a doctor's opinion, you can either say it that way or you can say 51% chance. 51% chance or written that way. Okay, this is the icing on the cake. I've had, yes sir. Hypertension, it's not high blood pressure. That's what you gotta claim hypertension. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm giving examples, yeah. okay? Um, so, that is the icing on the cake. I got, I had a veteran not too long ago, said, I keep getting denied PTSD, so I asked him, I said, are you getting treated for it? No. Have you been diagnosed with it? No. You didn't get denied all day long. Because you're not being treated for it. You haven't been diagnosed. Now, PTSD, we all know that that's not in your military medical records, we know that. Okay, but you go to the doctor, start seeing a site, 
and you convince them that it was military related by going through combat operations and stuff like that, it's just as good. The doctor's opinion. That is the ticket. Getting that doctor's opinion. Without that, you ain't got nothing. The doctor's opinion. Okay? It's also known as the Nexus icing on the cake. Tip number four, get a letter from your family and friends stating how it is to live with you with your present condition. At the end of the letter, please make sure this statement is in there. I hereby certify that the information is given is true to the best of my knowledge and belief. The reason why is because we're not doctors and, doctors and nurses. It's our opinion. Okay, the VA will come back and say, we don't accept those, but you're putting them, putting them on warning, saying, hey, I'm willing to fight this thing all the way, and the judge accepts them. So if you get denied a third time, you have a doctor's opinion, you have the medical records you know, matching it, they deny you a third time, you, they ask, do you wanna go in front of the judge? Yes, I do, because I got a doctor's opinion, and I got buddy letters. Okay, that works. I had, I had one of my own claims overturned because of that, right there. That judge accepts it. All right, so please, Tip one, three, and four. You may see this again. It's called the candles on the cake. Icing candles. Make sense? Service connected disability. Is service connected disability tax free? Yes. It is tax free. Service connected disability compensation tax free. All right? All right, anybody see a, a mistake there? I know you'll spot it almost right away. There isn't one mistake on there. Let me see you pay attention. There's one mistake. I didn't see it until after I submitted the class. So I'm like, ah. Is it the 100% with spouse? Nope. You're close, though. You're close. With additional children? Uh, sort of. 90%. Look at the 90%. Okay. Um, with spouse and then better with spouse and child. No, 80%. 80%. My fault. 80%. That number is in between the two, okay? In between this one and the, this one, okay? So I made a mistake right there, all right? All right, so that is tax-free, okay? Veteran alone without spouse, this is the paycheck for 10%, the 100 with spouse, with spouse and child, okay, and on and on, okay? Tax-free. So, 100% with spouse and 100% with veteran, is that, that doesn't look right either. Good eye, good eye, you're that right. Was, was I gotta reverse, I gotta reverse, okay? I'm human, guys, okay? I'm human, okay? So I didn't, ha I didn't have my 10 year old help me with that. All right, so good, good eye, okay? You can look that up, you can look up 20, 2023 VA disability compensation rates on the internet, Google it. And it has the numbers, okay? My fault, I'll correct that. All right, good eye. Good eye. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, spouses, you know? <laughs> Anyways, uh, veterans with rating 30% are eligible for additional allowances and dependents, including spouse, minor children, and so on, okay? Also for travel pay. 30% or more, you get travel pay. All right? Now, can a child between 18 and 23 get paid? If they're going to school. Thank you. If they're going to school, okay? That'd have to be full time, though, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yep. That is a lot of money. A lot. Okay? PTSD. Question. You have 100% disability. Does that mean, for PTSD, does that mean you lose your guns? No. No. Nope. 
Nope. Does not mean you lose your guns. Now, if you go in and tell the doctor I'm going to hurt somebody or kill somebody, yeah. Okay? But if you're, if you're going, to get, going to get treatment, taking your medication, doing what you're supposed to be doing, doing the right thing, you're okay. But if you go in there and put that red flag up, then it could be a problem. Okay, but do the right thing. I'd rather have you getting treatment for PTSD than walking around with a handgun with problems. There are some congressmen and senators out there that want to take away the guns. If anybody has any mental health issues, that's why we have a lot of veterans that are afraid to go get diagnosed with PTSD because they're afraid of losing their handguns, which is wrong. I'd rather have them getting help, but you're telling them don't get help because they don't want to get labeled. It's causing more problems than help. All right? So, late, or guys, how many times has your wife asked you to take out the trash and you forget to get on you? A lot, right? Tell her, hey, honey, I might have PTSD. I have memory, memory loss. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Mild memory loss right there. Mild memory loss, okay? Use it. Use it. Yeah, but See? I'm not good at sleeping with one eye open. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to help you guys out, okay? I'm trying to give you, she's over here laughing. Yeah. I'm trying to give you guys excuses, okay? Yeah. So please, that is a 50% disability. You have those symptoms right there. What was the pay for 50%? Anybody remember? dollars 50%, it's just a veteran, $1,041. For GSD alone. <coughs> Guys, come on, we raise our hands. We raise our hands, you deserve it. Those guys in the streets, they deserve this. When I hear people say, well, I don't want to take away from somebody else. Stop, 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 you raise your hand. The more veterans we have enrolled in the VA, the more doctors, more nurses, and more money that has to be allocated to us. So please, you raise your hand. You deserve it, your family deserves it. Okay? And like I said, the more doctors, more facilities, more money that can help those ones that need it more. Think about your family. If you get in a car accident today and you can't work no more, at least you got something coming in. Think about your family. You raise your hand, you deserve it. Everybody got one of these cards, right? Sign the symptoms. Please put them in your wallet. All right? Look at them. 988 is the new suicide hotline number. All right? So please, if you need a couple, you need more of these, please, I'll give you some more. Okay? Make sure your bartenders have got this, the signs and symptoms. They see people every day. If those bartenders know the signs and symptoms, and then you see a veteran that needs help, they call your chaplain, your service officer, the commander, whatever we gotta do to help that veteran with those signs and symptoms. Do not let them walk out that bar without saying, hey, we're here for you. Please. Because once they leave and they're drunk as a skunk, they go into a car accident, guys, please. We can save one life. One life. That's what we're here for. 18 Orange. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys something, this. I had a veteran about a year ago come up to me and say, I wanna put in for Agent Orange. I said, you can't. And they're like, what do you mean? Agent Orange is not a medical condition. <laughs> Exposure is. Exposure, right. But to tell me he wants to put in for Agent Orange, so I asked him, do you have any of these symptoms? There's 13 symptoms, actually 16 now. He goes, no, that's why you can't put in. You don't have a medical condition. You gotta have a medical condition to put in that okay the most common medical condition for agent orange is what anybody know diabetes diabetes, diabetes. is any heart disease the second than the cancers okay so you might hear that again the diabetes part okay now like I said please guys go on the website download it give it to your service officer help these people Help your members with your post. Okay? Those are some of the symptoms right there. I'm not good at pronouncing some of the medical terms. I'm not a doctor, not a nurse. Okay, so that's why I got it up there for you guys. Here's the rest of them. Okay? Multiple myelopenia. 
prostate cancer. And if you have a veteran that has some symptoms and isn't enrolled in the VA yet, please do whatever you gotta do to get them to put in a claim and get the help they need. Please. Okay, they deserve it. They deserve it. Yep. All right, now, this is gonna get interesting here, real guys. 48 stateside bases got sprayed with Agent Orange before they even went to Vietnam. Okay, Avon Park, Bowman Range was one. These are the ones in Florida. Um, so I have, I've had veterans come up to me and say, hey, I got the symptoms of Agent Orange. I didn't go boots on the ground in Vietnam. However, I was in one of these locations. No problem. I print out that. This is the website you go to, U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, herbicide tests and storage. They were in those locations during that time. I printed that out, highlighted it, and they had the orders and the medical records and everything. Now they got a claim. Because they were in one of those locations during that time. And that's from the old VA's own website. Okay, so like I said, that's the website you go to. You turn out all 48 things I based. I only did to Florida because it's so many of them. So I rode through Eglin Air Force Base on the way here. It's like back. <laughs> Was it back in 1968? <laughs> no, no, you can't now. You can't now. Back then. Back then. Not now. Where's, okay. Where's England, Larry? E N G L I N. That's a misspelled word. Give me a break, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Same thing, I didn't have my 10 year old help me, okay? All right. Come on, guys. I just wasn't, I just wasn't familiar, so I see England, I just wasn't familiar with England, so I don't, I don't know. Florida. I'm moving to the next page, okay? <laughs> I'm getting away from that, okay? All right. Like I said, guys, yeah, grammar's not my strong one, okay? This right here, again, please, please. And this one right here, take advantage of it. Now, if you have a, a spouse that's a auxiliary member, she is also eligible for this. Legion, auxiliary, and sons which we are all that first, are eligible for this program. Call, get locked in, put it in your book. That way if something happens, you're covered, okay? If you need more, let me know. Uniform 214, you gotta have that for death benefits. Make sure your spouse knows where that is. Make sure your kids know where that is. That way, if you're out with your spouse and you get in a car accident, something bad happens to both of you, somebody knows where that stuff is at. Okay? Please. Like I said, I got a copy of my house, my mom's got a copy, my brother's got a copy. That way, if something happens, we're good to go. I know my kids are going to be taken care of. All right? VA National Cemeteries, headstone markers, presidential certificates, fl burial flag, reimbursement expenses, Burial allowances, supply allowances, military funeral honors. It's all in this book right here. With the points of contacts. So that way, if something happens, everybody that was armed be discharged, the, the spouse is going to get something for reimbursement. Okay? There's three different levels for reimbursement. I'm not going to go into the whole service officer class, which is a day and a half, but please look at the book, okay? Florida Benefits Guide. You guys all have that, right? State Benefits Guide. Some have 2022, some have 2022, some have 2020. It's the exact same information except for the people transition from one sex to the other. Okay? So please look at it. Like I said, when you get back home, take the magazines you have in there out of the bathroom and put those stuff in there for a while. Property tax exemptions. A veteran that's 10% disabled to 90% disabled gets 5,000 additional off the property tax. You know how you get 25,000 for homestead? They get an additional five. If you're over the age of 65 and you're a combat veteran, and you have a disability, so if you have a 50% disability, you get 50% off the property tax. If you're 100% permanent total, property tax, I pay like 100 bucks. It's in that book. But you gotta take your, your uh, uh, award letter from your disability to the proper appraiser's office and apply for it. 
take advantage of it, guys. Please. Let your members know about that. I have got I had a veteran that had 100% permanent total for five years and they didn't know about it. I took him down to the property appraiser's office, explained it to him, they gave him five years of property tax back. New car. New car, there you go. You know what I'm saying? So please, take advantage of this stuff, guys. Okay? I'm helping you out. Remember, I'm not going to leave you behind. I'm not going to leave you behind. CBO, man. I wouldn't be giving this class if I wouldn't be leaving you behind. So, Veterans preference. Okay, does anybody know about this? Since so, since the time of Civil War, veterans of the U.S. Armed Forces have been given some degree of preference appointments to federal jobs. Okay, county, state, and federal jobs. I had a veteran come to my office a year ago that said he'd been looking for a job for six months. I'm like, you can't be looking too hard because Burger King's hiring. <laughs> okay, so I took him down to the the uh, Heartland Workforce, which is right next to our VA clinic. Talked to the veterans counselor, and inside there, I talked to him. We got him a job, and two days later, working for the county, he's a garbage garbage man, getting twenty bucks an hour. And meanwhile, Project Beverly stepped in and, and paid a bill for him. So not only did we help pay a bill, we also got him a job. It's a hand up, not a handout. So that veteran says, "I don't want that job. I can't help you." Veterans gotta be willing to help themselves a little bit before Project Beverly steps in and helps. That's just a job to get somewhere else anyway. But 20 bucks an hour? It's right in a garbage truck? Yeah. With benefits? That's better than nothing. Okay, so like I said, Project Beverly, it's a hand up, not a hand up. If a veteran ain't willing to help themselves, yeah. we're not gonna help them. Show me that you want the help. You are a veteran. You want help, we're gonna help you, but you gotta show me that you want help yourself first. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Okay. Can a veteran with 100% disability still work? Yes. 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 There's several different types of 100% disabilities. Okay, there's 100% temporary. And what that means is a veteran has had surgery and couldn't work for a while, they give him a temporary 100%. Do you have 100% permanent total? Okay, permanent total does not mean it's locked forever. At any time within 20 years from the time you're awarded, the VA can reevaluate you and take it. Do not, do not, do not give them a reason to. You go in for a medical appointment and they ask you how you're feeling today, do not, do not, do not say you're doing great. Okay, please do not tell them you're doing great or good. The same or worse. Okay? Do not give them a reason to reevaluate you. All right? They, they do it in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. So I had a veteran that um, got awarded 100% permit total. Two years later, he got a nasty letter saying, hey, uh, apparently you're doing better because you're not coming to see us no more. So guess what? They bump it down to 70%. I tell everybody, once you get a disability, go to the VA at least twice a year. At least twice a year to say, hey, I still got a medical problem. Okay, the book says once a year, I tell people twice a year to make sure that you are covered until you're getting treated. Even if that's for blood work. Yes, even if it's blood work, okay? You gotta let them know that you still got a medical problem. Okay? The one they can't touch you with is 100% permanent sustain. That little word sustain. I got a defibrillator pacemaker. The wires are going into my heart. They cannot take that out. Okay? That word sustain is the one that locks you. Okay, now I've never heard anybody after 10 years get touched, but the book says 20. I've been doing this for 14 years. So there's always that chance. You give them a red flag, they're gonna jump on it. All right? Okay, now we're gonna go to local. How many people in here like Bon Jovi? Raise your hand. How much do you think it costs for tickets for Bon Jovi? Way too much. How about 10 bucks? 
Did you Wait, take vet text? No vet text. Yeah. Vet text. Yeah, I use them. Vet text. E-T-T-I-X. Okay? Me and my wife got two tickets for 10 bucks. Hey, we went to the opera. I really don't like opera. I wore earplugs, but my wife liked it. <laughs> got free tickets, okay? There's all kinds of stuff on there. There's NASCAR, yes. football, baseball, yes. basketball, fine dining, anything you can imagine, and vet ticks. I got four sometimes tickets good, for next Thursday. Yeah, sometimes it's good stuff, sometimes it's crappy stuff. <laughs> but it's cheap for us, guys. Take advantage of it. And sometimes they hold raffles to give away tickets a day of. Exactly, so please. Hey, you wanna get out of your house and do something cheap? Vet ticks. Okay? Military.com. Please, please enroll in that. I get a weekly email. It might be a good thing for you. Military.com. It tells you everything that's going on with all the armed forces, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, even the Space Force. Mm. Okay? Then you click on, then they have the VA information, so all the changes that's going on in Congress and all the stuff like that, uh, all the VA stuff, the PAC app, Camp Lejeune, all that stuff is under Military.com. So you can be updated of everything that's going on with military.com. Weekly updates. I get them. And I forward them a lot of times. Okay? So please. GovX. That's for military, veterans, and law enforcement. Discounts like crazy. All right? Operation Outdoor Freedom. How many people in here like to hunt and fish? Okay? Operation Outdoor Freedom. The state of Florida program, if you're 30% disabled or more, you can go hunting and fishing for free. Okay? How many people on here like raise baseball? Raise your hand. Free tickets. Go on raisebaseball.com, all right? Then the salute to service, ID me, you enroll, and you get free tickets for weekday games. Okay? So please, guys, do me a favor. There ain't no women in here except for one, okay? When you go back, you have the auxiliary. Ask them for one month, everywhere they go, ask if they take military or veterans discounts, everywhere. They all get back together at the end of the month, they make a list, one massive list, give it to all your members and everybody who joins. Thank you for your service, thank you for joining. Here's a place that provides discounts. Me and my wife, we save $7,000 a year by just knowing where to shop. We take that money, and that is our vacation money. You gotta be disciplined. Say, if you save 10 bucks here, you gotta take that 10 bucks and put it in your jug or bank. But you can do it. Guys, take advantage of it, please. Okay? You deserve it. You raise your hand. <coughs> you raise your hand. Let's, let's, let's do this. Is Publix good enough? Huh? Is Publix. I don't know. Sometimes, I, I don't know. Sometimes I notice my stores, depending on the manager. How about GovX? A lot, huh? a lot of good stuff on GovX. Yeah. So I've wondered, I haven't registered. Okay. Yeah, they have some good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they got good name brand stuff that yep. got discounts. So. American made. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um, okay, women veterans. Okay. We need to step up helping our female comrades. Okay, a lot of them don't even realize they're veterans because they didn't deploy. I'll tell you what, at my post, half my officers, I'm, I'm a member of the post commander, half my officers are female. I'll go to combat with those good ladies right now because I know they got my back and they know I got their back. Guys, listen carefully. The females have kids. Younger generations, our next future is those females. Get them in there. Get them in your post. Get them in your program. My post... My granddaughter, 13 years old, has been appointed the junior's writer's director. We know it doesn't exist, but <laughs> in her mind, she thinks she is the junior's writer's director for the kids. Yeah. It makes her feel big, good, she's doing something, okay? She knows everything about the flag etiquette. She teaches the kids how to fold the flag. She does all that stuff. Bring the kids on board, guys. That's our future. And the females have the kids. And other females come and join because you got females in there. All right? Look at Eunice. I'm proud to have her as commander. She struggled her up through the ranks. She struggled. She stuck it out for us.
stuck it out. I'm very proud to have her as our commander. Okay? So please, we have 162,000 female veterans in the state of Florida. That number's going up every day. Find them. Get them in your post. Okay? You guys ready for the test? You're good. Someone's filming. No, I'm kidding. Over here. <laughs> Come over here. Come over here. Stop filming. No, she can film this. <laughs> she can film this. She can film this. Okay, we're gonna start with the girls. Then the guy. Girl, guy, girl, guy, okay? Girl here, guy here. Okay, I'll get a crayon, okay? All right, all right. You ready for this? Yes. In this soldier's creed, true or false, I will never accept defeat, I will never quit, I will never leave a fallen comrade. True or false? That's true. Okay. And guys, guys. Approximately how many homeless combat veterans in the state of Florida? No, no. How many Total. homeless combat veterans? 10%, 25%, or 50%? 25%. Yeah, 25%, although the number differed from the first video right. to, uh, okay. and I noticed that. Okay. The video is old. <laughs> okay, the video is old, okay? That's it. The boys are cheating. They on said 300,000 national. National. And possibly 1.4 million. Well, it's 25% of our combat veterans. That's the question. Okay. All right. Girls, basic eligibility. Girl. Girl. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> basic eligibility for VA health care. True or false? A person discharged with a dishonorable discharge may qualify for benefits. True or false? Repeat. <laughs> For VA health care benefits, true or false, a person discharged with a dishonorable discharge may qualify for benefits. Is true? True and false. <laughs> Which one is it? Well, it's they cannot uh, reap the benefits, but you said don't give up, pursue it. So which one is it? Which one is it? True what I just said. <laughs> Gotta be one or the other. They can apply to get it upgraded. It's true or false from previous. True. Yeah, she's from right. My, <laughs> she's right. From my team. She's okay. right. She's, she's right. She, 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 the original she, answer was false until they apply for. Exactly. Original. They're helping a trauma. Okay, guys. Guys. Just him, not you guys. Where can you enroll in the, into the VA? Into the VA. Where can you enroll into the VA? Either online, but Larry says go in first. Okay. Any Make sure you get copies. Any look them in the eye. Okay. Girl, what is the most important document? Your DD-214. What tip is icing on the cake? The tip number. Tip number four. Get your, or. No, no, no. There's four tips. And you need, uh, you need, you need a doctor's letter. Okay. And, tip number. Uh, what tip number? I think that's number three. So <laughs> 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 what is tip number three? So what is tip? It is tip number three. You said four first. Well, um, <laughs> come on. There's four tips. There's yeah, four. you're right. But but what tip number? The, what I, is the tip I, number? I said icing on the cake so all your friends support you too. That know you. Candles on the cake is friends and family. All right. Friends the candles. The icing on the cake is the document. I want the whole cake. <laughs> you got a real cake. The guy. He's guy. He's guy. All right, so the girl, the oh. girl is leading. Yes. Okay. What is tip? No? No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> what tip is candles on the cake? Four. There you go. There you That's go. too easy. You just yeah, yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't care about the candles. Give me the cake. Man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Guy. Guy. True or false? Service-connected disability compensation is tax-free. That is uh, true. Okay. Girl. Girl. <laughs> to seek help with a VA. V 
VA state or local question, who do you ask? Mickey Mouse? Spider-Man? Or service officer? Service officer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Really? Yeah, that was a tough one. That's very tough. Okay. Well, even Joe could get that. Hey. All, right. All right. There you go. What is the most common symptom of Agent Orange? Diabetes. Come on! Oh, okay. <sighs> Knew it. All right. Diabetes particular, I believe. Okay, is. yes it is. Okay. All right. Now, between the two of them, the first one that raises their hand gets answered. Okay? <laughs> Yesterday I had the guys forgot to raise their hand, they gave the answer, so they lost because they didn't raise their hand. Okay? What is the suicide hotline number? 988. Did I say raise your hand? I already raised both. Wow. Ah, anyways, she I won. Know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got some feet. I've been in this class. I know you did. I know you have. <laughs> but I want to show you guys what she's got. You can take it back to your post. Thank you. <laughs> okay, but I'm going to show you something so it's fair, okay? Okay? Like my post, we have an outback. Okay, that's where the riders hang out. The girls get to hang it up in the outback for a while. So I know you got something similar. Yeah. You can take it and hang it up. Yeah. Tell them. Very good. Okay? So anybody want my card? Okay, I can go to your post and give that same exact class. All you gotta do is invite me, okay? Or you can download the class from the website. It's up to you guys, but I'm here for you, okay? So please, on your way out, I'm flipping this page over. If you have any comments or concerns, please write it down. All right? Who needed my card? 